What's the point in having so many books? Mm. If they're not manuals or pre-war books, they shouldn't exist. Sounds so close. Oh, fuck, Magnum Rays. Doing alright for those. I have 795 of these boats. I've almost got as much more than when I started. Oh, they're the most dangerous type of uh, mole rat. The ones that drop from the ceiling. Definitely. You have to watch out for them, especially since they're not really a real species. I just made them up now. Oh my god. Please. Is that like a cellar? No, it's a room with friggin' nothing in it. What? Seriously? Okay, I guess it had that. And there's a steam gauge assembly as well. What's in here? A leaf blower and two... Two lawnmower blades. Yeah, it's not really worth going in there for then. I kill you! And you! No, I don't want to sit. Thanks very much. What's that? I don't know. If at first you don't know what it is, shoot it. Words to live by. There's nothing in here either. What a load of bollocks. Oh. Spoke too soon. A DC Medical Journal. Alright. So the stairs, yeah, here. Is this the end? Okay. That's it. That door that I was just looking at is the end. Oops. Give me something useful. No, there should be something useful in every room. I demand at least a pre-war book some kind of manual or magnum ammo. Some kind of ammo. That's a must in every room nowadays. It shouldn't take four bullets to kill one of those guys. Hey, personal locker. Get home. Oh no. Why god? Oh. Ah, oh, God damn. You, mother. Nine bottle caps. Whoop de doo. I think I've been picking up too many fishing batteries. Because my weight is dangerously high. Cups? Why so many cups in here? This place is kind of lame, I mean... The rooms have like nothing in them. I hate this place.
Hey, first aid. Ah. I could have forced that one. Did it work? Oh, pure work, but that's alright. But look, more cups. Why is there so many cups? What's in here? Just gotta be. Nothing. Seriously, just cups. Really? Nothing else. Okay, let's install the process. Oh, yeah. That's pretty lame. Only five experience for those guys. Well, fuck that. Let's, let's hack. <coughs> Okay, that's gonna be way too long to hack. Okay, the basic operation, day to day stuff, pest extermination, all that. To the liquidation, remove your co workers. Robot shutdown, I'm just to find the real simple. Yeah, sweet. So we want to do cease total liquidation. Liquidation. So we can initiate pest extermination or distress testing. So that's some stress. Stress testing should just uh, make them kill each other. So I'll let them get on with it. If, I, if my science wasn't high enough to hack that, it means I would have to fight all these guys. But. Along, As you can see, they only get like you're gonna get five experience off each of them, so it's not really worth. Like, yeah, it's definitely not really. Actually, going out of your way to kill them, but on the way, I will just take as many out as I can. Got a bit of burden to spare, so. Which way are we going? From what I remember, it should be out this way. Yeah. So do they not like? Even if I'm shooting them, they don't become my enemy either. That doesn't seem right. Wow. He died fast. Is there one more somewhere? Commencing attack. Target. Here. Oh well. Make good target practice anyway. My health is very low. Let me check it out. There's some, some dancing robots, for instance, a protector on. Pro Tektron. Uh, that's the normal model. This is the military model. And then this is the Nuka Cola model. You can see them actually in the Nuka Cola factory. Did I look in here? Hmm, no. Also, what's that beeping sound? Is that my health or something? No. The radar wouldn't be too bad if it showed uh, height as well, maybe. If it was a way to show that. Oh, crappy books. Oh, and a robot taking a shit. Silly robot. 
That's a human toilet, not a robot toilet. Ah, oh, look, there's that guy. Better be an enemy. <laughs> yeah, I can see his feet. How may I serve you, mister? Hello, Tinker stranger. Joe. I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout the DC wasteland. I'd like to buy a I'm robot, please. these bots are all spoken for. I'm just delivering them now. I've got a custom gutsy that isn't spoken for, but... Well, RL3's a bit finicky about the company he keeps, and I don't think he likes the look of you. Nothing personal, of course. Bye! Uh, screw you, buddy. What's the matter with me? I'm, I'm too good, am I? Ah, oh, whatever. Well... Let's just go back to Megaton. We'll go back to Megaton and tell more of the good news. <laughs> well, we didn't really want to go in there. Well, let's stop by Walter, please. Give him some scrap metal. What do you need? Just take all the scrap metal. Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. Well. Yeah, I thought that might happen. <laughs>5% extra damage with all weapons. I mean, that can't be bad. I don't really need that scrounger perk. Really. Um, yeah, so... Leave that for the time being. But we will go to more. Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? Are you coming on to me? Harnessing the technology of the past and modifying it for your own purposes? That's just the thing! Tell me all about how it worked out! Reprogram the revolver... Uh, hacked... So they'd be a challenge... Yeah, strength. Well, I wouldn't have guessed you had it in you. But I suppose it worked out anyway. Of course, I'll bet it helps to pack a few pulse grenades, just in case. Here, have a few. Oh, and take my book on science. For some reason, I just can't get into the computer parts. But I've got the rest pretty much memorized. So, local history... Yes, Rivet City's in particular. It's the most successful survivor settlement around. But no one here really knows how it started. Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. So I need you to go there and do some researching. No problem. Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down there. And check around to make sure you're hearing the real deal. Okay, will do. The info you're bringing back is great. Looking forward to more. Okay. That's great, more. Pleasure doing business with you. On that note, uh, we'll, call it a, we'll call it a set right there. And probably decide what to do in the next set at some stage. But until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.